in what many are calling the most controversial murder trial in years. Anthony Tucker found guilty of first degree murder. My client maintains his innocence. We have no comment at this time. as a contestant on this year's Jurassic Games. Do you accept? Yes. In entertainment news, this year's contestants for the Jurassic Games have been chosen. I don't even care about the contestants. I want to see the hot host and what he's going to be wearing and saying. That's what I want to watch. Ooh, I can't wait. feels real, doesn't it? The sand on your skin, the sun on your face, the taste in your mouth. Well, to all of you, this world is absolutely real. The danger is real, and the pain is real. But so is the reward. Oh, oh, be careful with that. I'll need you to do as I say, or boom. <laughs> you all know that when you die in here, you die for real. All of you are in here for one reason. To win your freedom. To go home. You can avoid the death you justly deserve by surviving, by fighting, by confronting your fears and proving your worthiness. Your goal is to be the sole survivor. Find yourself the last man or woman standing and you will win a full pardon. You will go home free, alive, exonerated. Now, it will be tempting to kill each other. There's no rules against that. But please, if you would be so kind, try to leave at least some of you alive for the main attraction. Oh, did you feel that? A few miles beyond the tree line, your first objective awaits, a temporary safe zone. Now, your callers will alert you when you arrive. Red, you're too far away. Yellow means you're getting closer. And green means you have reached the safe zone and completed your first challenge. Reach the safe zone in one hour or you die. Die here in the game and as you know, you will die in real life by lethal injection as been assigned by the state. The pain you feel in this world will be real pain. Like the real pain you inflicted on those that you have killed. Everyone understand? Good. Congratulations to you all. As of right now, you are no longer death row inmates. You are contestants on the greatest game show in the world, The Jurassic Game. Mess up my hair. No? It's good? Okay. All right, guys, you ready? How long until we're live? Okay. All right, everyone, we're going live in three, two. <clears throat> they have less than 59 minutes to reach the safe zone. So sit back, try to relax, and enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, because today is going to be a hell of a day for our brave contestants.
so far, so good. I mean, that lineup is gorgeous on camera. I'm telling you, right now, we are hitting all the key demographics. It's a great cast. It's the best one yet. Mm -hmm. Stanley Cannibal. <laughs> Our contestants are frantically trying to find the safe zone. Don't worry, I'm sure most of them will. But in the end, nine will die and one will win. And this year's four stages are by far the best ever. Stage one, the contestants must survive being hunted by hungry dinosaurs long enough to find the temporary safe zone. Stage two, the maze. A deadly labyrinth filled with some of our fan favorites. That's right, the raptors are back this year. Stage three, the minefield. Tread lightly, and you might walk out of this game with all your limbs. And our final stage this year? You don't actually think I'm gonna give that away, do you? Let's just say you won't be disappointed. So stay tuned, fans, because the Jurassic games start right now. In the ultimate reality game show, 10 death row inmates must survive a virtual world filled with the deadliest predators to ever roam the earth. William Davis, guilty on 23 counts of drug-related homicide. Rin Saizo, contract killer, guilty of the murder of a United States senator. Victor Gonzalez, the wasp, leader of the Hive drug cartel, guilty of 35 counts of murder. Stephanie Rogers. Brian, status report. Games on Alpha Online, Raptor AI Online, prepping games on Beta, prepping to disengage Rex One. Security holding up. Airtight, 46 attempts to breach our firewall was so far and unsuccessful. Then none will be. Stay vigilant. Back live in the studio in 10. Okay. We never know who, we never know when. But sadly, we had to say goodbye to Dr. Eli Franklin. The first contestant to be eliminated in this year's Jurassic Games. Of course, we can't feel too sorry for him. That guy liked to blow people up. A lot. Uh, what's going on with Dr. Franklin? Dr. Franklin? You okay? God, he's so weird. Hey, wait, you have to grab your back. I don't know about you, but honestly, he wasn't one of my favorites anyway. Only nine contestants remain. Do you know where the safe zone is? I'm lost.
Kind of a pussy, aren't you? I'm not here to kill anybody. I'm here to kill everybody. Well, not you. Not yet. Lighten up. Come on, I think the safe zone's this way, and I'm scared. Five and three, two. Thank you. I'm here with Bailey and Andrew Tucker. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me. Bailey, let's start with you, sweetheart. How do you feel about your father being a contestant on the Jurassic Games? Um, this is his only chance to get out, so. That's right. If he wins, he will be pardoned of all of his crimes. He didn't commit any crimes. And he didn't kill my mom. Andrew, stop. We're not supposed to talk about it. It's all right. Your mother's death was tragic. I'm very sorry she can't be here with you today. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to say to your father? Look into this camera. You can send him a message. Survive, Dad, please. We know you're innocent. Get him out of the games. Stop the games. Andy. No more games! No more games! No more games! No more games! They made me talk to his kids. You think he's innocent? What difference does it make? Well, what if they found proof? You think they'd let him go? If they find proof, I'll never hear about it. Trust me. Let's go! Move, move, move! So how close are they? The audience is getting restless. A few minutes, most, but they're good hunters. I thought we could build tension. Build tension? No, our viewers don't care about tension, Brian. They just want to see the contestants die horribly. Spawn them closer next time. And stay on Tucker. The audience already is sympathetic with him. Let's watch him die live. You got it. So your wife, she was tortured. Leave it alone. I wonder what she was thinking when she died. Some people can just turn it off, the pain. I've always admired that. I read your cast bio. Loving daddy, good man. It's clear why the world thinks you're innocent. If it makes you feel any better. I believe you. Goody.
I'll see you in the next round. <laughs> Go, you little bitch. Hey, uh, you know what? Can we get some wind? Just to make him sway a little bit? Roll her package. Bloodthirsty, merciless, psychopath. Words used to describe Sarah Lafort, the youngest death row inmate to ever enter the Jurassic Games. I had the opportunity to sit down with her and try to get inside the head of this cold-blooded killer. Sarah? I just want to ask you a few questions. Joy. My friends call me Joy. Why do you prefer to be called Joy? Because I'm such a happy person. Okay, Joy. What happened in your life that brought you here at such a young age? It's a secret. What? Well, well, well. You are still hanging in there, aren't you? Oh, come on, man. Come on! What do you got inside you? Huh? Are you gonna let this little girl take you out of the game this early? What about your kids? You can't die now. Jesus! Must work together as long as we can. There are things more terrible than us in this game. As individuals, we don't stand a chance. There may still be a way to escape. If we work together, we must get to the safe zone. We are being hunted. There are three of them. We must go, now! using that, are you? No. We wouldn't want an uprising. It almost sounds like you do. His children, Savannah? You made me interview Tucker's children. Well, he's trending high. People want him to win. It's been a while since we had one that might be innocent. His children believe that he is. And they're about to see him get ripped to shreds on live TV. Nobody's forcing you to be here. There are a number of people behind you that would love your job. Younger, smarter, prettier. They would put their firstborn in the game to get a shot at your position. I know. I want to be here. Good. Oh, um, if you ever question an assignment again, you can go ahead and clean out your desk. Oh, 
This should be easy. Oh, uh, you want him? Wait. Don't be stupid. Hi, friend. Do you happen to know which way it is to the safe zone? I don't have much time to find it. No. I have no idea. We lost. We're gonna die on the first challenge. Wrong answer, pal! Wait, stop! The Raptors have entered the canyon area. What? No, 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 no. Hey, how long until they get to them? Any second now. Do you know who I am? I am Ella Vispa. The Wasp. <laughs> you know who I am? I'm the Wasp. I got a big stinger on my butt. And when I sting you, I'm gonna die. I think it's a B, man. Shut up! We have very powerful friends. Friends who can help us. Help me. Help me get to the end. Help me win. Why would we do that? Because I can save your mother. What do you know about my mama, huh? I know all about you. Trust me. I can get us all out of here. You will be able to see your mother again. Alive and well. Oh, Shit! Wait, 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 wait! Well, what are you waiting for? Dipped 4%. Why did you stop the Raptor? Liz, it's called foreplay, Savannah. You might want to try it sometime. All right, we're back in five, four, three, two. That just happened. Could this be an unholy alliance between the Mason brothers and the Wasp? That would be a match made in hell. And ladies and gentlemen, I would hate to see what that means for our other contestants. Let's head back to the canyon. <laughs> what just happened? Let's go. Wait! Join me. Help me get to the end. I can save your mother, I promise. Come on. You really think he's gonna save anybody else but himself? How stupid could you be? She's dying of cancer, no? No one dies of cancer anymore. Poor people do, you piece of shit! I can pay for the treatment! Okay, okay, okay! We'll help you. Have you lost your mind? Haven't you seen this show before? If he wins, we die, you idiot! No, he said he could get us up too, huh? He knows people, right? Let's see. If there's even a chance that we can save Mom. This is all bullshit! If he knows anyone on the outside, then what's he doing in here in the first place? I want you to use your tiny little brain. Think about that, you moron. You touch him, and I'll kill you myself. None of them know. Unfortunately, their mother, Rosetta Mason, passed yesterday. Such a tragedy. But I promise that you are going to see the Raptors soon because stage two, the maze, is up next right here on the Jurassic Games. And we're clear. <sighs> oh.
Was that, that was a good transition, right? That was good. Nice work. I at first felt that the brother's angle was a little forced, but it was good drama. Well, all right. Hey, by the way, we gotta make sure we keep them alive as long as possible. Okay, can you, can you imagine uh, a Cain and Abel type of ending for the finale? I'm sorry to interrupt. The contestants are approaching the safe zone right now. <sighs> we are close. Keep going. Surprise. I'm Tucker. I'm innocent. I'm Albert, and I'm gonna eat you. Jurassic Games action figures available wherever fine toys are sold. Tucker, Joy, Dr. Franklin, Billy, Big Brother, Little Brother, Stephanie, Ren. Collect all 10 contestants today. And if you collect all 10 action figures of this year's contestants, we will throw in the brand new version of yours truly, complete with 10 new catchphrases. That's right, the Raptors are back this year. Get yours now while supplies last. Every single network is covering the games. This is even bigger than last year. Looks like a riot in Midtown. Yeah, nothing new. They've been protesting for years. Yeah, we should put some of those cavemen in the game. <laughs> no shit. Come on, we're starting the maze. Only eight remain. What a cast, though, huh? The Mason Brothers. Would you take out one of your own if it really came down to it? We'll see. And we got Joy. Ah, oh, Joy, Joy, Joy. I'm telling you, there is something special about sweet little Joy. And we got Albert, the cannibal. Albert, you make me sick. In a good way, of course, because people tune in just to see you die. <laughs> uh, I like you. Keep you around for our international viewers. And then we have poor Anthony Tucker. <sighs> it doesn't really seem like he's cut out for this, but you know what? America loves a tragic hero, so I do too. Hang in there, buddy. Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie. I'd really hate for someone or 
something to ruin that pretty face. Guess we'll have to wait for that. And uh, El Avispa, the wasp. I like you. You're naughty. All right, wake him up. I want to play. Welcome, contestants. I hope you are ready for your first challenge. We like to call it the maze. A favorite segment of the games and our longest running challenge. The rules are simple. Be the first to escape your chains and you will be awarded this. Right? Use it to protect yourself. Use it to obliterate your enemies. The choice is yours. I think of the right hands, the hands of a fighter, the hands of a winner, this fine piece of hardware could wind up ending the game early. Anything can happen in the Jurassic games. That's what makes it so much fun. So here we go. Ready in three, two, one, go. for the gun, the one that won't use it. Thank <laughs> you. 
great. Get back. Congratulations, contestants. Well done. Stephanie, because you were the first to exit the maze, I am going to reward you with this. And not far from here, you will find a crate containing a few potentially game-changing supplies. This map will help you get there safely. Stephanie, you may choose to share it or keep it to yourself. The clock is ticking, contestants. Give it to me! Hey, back off! I want that. First thought to have been a hoax. Stephanie Rogers brutally murdered 16 men and broadcast her kills live on the internet. She spent the last three years at the Starkweather Federal Penitentiary prior to her acceptance in this year's Jurassic Games. She'll use her charms to seduce the men in the game, just like a black widow, luring them into her trap, killing them in cold blood. <laughs> Give me a break. Come with me. I have to do some fluff piece interview. I'm joined now by Savannah Black. She is the director of the controversial sensation known around the globe as the Jurassic Games. Savannah, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Oh, my pleasure, Jack. Thank you for having me. Let's begin right off the bat with the morality issue here. Uh, excuse me? Well, you know as well as anybody, the show is controversial, even still. Are we still discussing this? The contestants on our show are going to die anyway. Now, what we're doing, with the support of the government, I might add, is giving them a chance at freedom. But some say this is too much. Isn't this really nothing more than exploitation of these contestants for money, for ratings? And you are essentially torturing them on live television. Well, I'm not concerned with a vocal minority. A lot more people love the games. Uh, 300 million the last time I looked. It's what the people want. You didn't answer my question. Well, they are still dying by lethal injection. Yes, but. Listen. We didn't invent this. As much as I'd like to take credit for it, public execution is nothing new. Um, think back to the days of the Roman Empire. The gladiators fought tigers, and there was a coliseum filled with people wanting the tiger to win, and most often it did. Now, at least on our show, one of our contestants is guaranteed to live. What about Anthony Tucker? There are a lot of folks out there who believe he was wrongly convicted of killing his wife. Well, he was convicted in a court of law and sentenced to death, and that is the only qualification required to enter the games. Oh. That, and they look good on camera. But wouldn't you agree having an innocent contestant killed on your show does nothing more than fuel the fire for groups like the Cavemen? I'm not familiar with them. You're trying to tell me you've never heard of the Cavemen? Well, I am aware of a very few and extremely disorganized. Come on, it's well known. They have promised to disrupt the ending of this year's games. Surely you're aware. Well, groups like that have tried before. But our security is tight, and I'm confident that the games will go on as they always do. Now we are approaching our next challenge, and your audience won't let them miss that. Savannah Black, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you, Jack. Ah! 
asshole! Volunteering for the games is an admission of guilt. These aren't people, they're murderers. God, and I've had it up to here with the cavemen. People have a right to protest. Okay, protesting is one thing, but threatening to disrupt the show's ending, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean, is unacceptable. You don't like the show? Well, neither do I, and do you know why? Because there's a winner. One of these lunatics gets to walk away free, and it makes me sick. If it were up to me, they'd all be dead already. So why did you enter the lottery? Same reason as everybody. Freedom. You really didn't do it, did you? That's what I heard. Doesn't matter much now, does it? Why do you think they picked dinosaurs to be the things we're running away from? <laughs> they tested better than robots? <laughs> Look, I don't know, man. Give me the map. You don't even know how to operate it. Damn, give a damn. Give me the map. Oh, my ass. Oh. You anyhow, wait, you piece of shit. Your mom's gonna follow me to hell. No, calm down. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm, I'm done. Are you hear me? I quit! Put me back in my cell! Hey! I quit! Hey! I'm not playing this game anymore! Hey! You and me! It's you and me! We gotta stay together! Focus! You focus! Focus! Well, you didn't see that coming, did you? Our contestants are tired, they're hungry. The wasp is gone, but I have a feeling it's about to get a whole lot tougher for our remaining six. How close are they to the supplies? They're approaching right now. The buzzards are circling. Contestants and congratulations on your success and survival. We're down to the final six, but we seem to be missing one. Ah, there she is. The odds on favor to win. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I sincerely doubt it. Beyond the red barrier, you will find two items that may be of some use to you. A knife, and more importantly, some more ammunition for your laser gun there. All you have to do is just walk from here to there. There 
are 17 mines. Uh, well, maybe, maybe 20. I can't remember. Between you and your reward. Don't worry. Stephanie's map will guide you through. Use it to survive. favorite now. Oh, there goes Cain and Abel. I'm not gonna do another interview like that, not during the games. That was an ambush. Hey, look at these ratings, though. Look at them. And nice work, by the way, Brian, with uh, the pterodactyl. I gotta say, I am really happy with our final four. You know, Jack mentioned a direct threat from the cavemen. They said they're threatening to disrupt the ending of the show. Oh, the cavemen. What are they gonna do, Savannah? Huh? What are they gonna do? Every year they say the same shit. Every year, nothing happens except for what? More controversy. Controversy leads to excitement. More excitement leads to more viewers. Hell, I love the cavemen. Status report. Four remaining contestants are relatively close to each other. Shut down most of the main systems while I load the traps and weather simulation. <sighs> you know what? Hey, hey, why don't you let them breathe for a minute? You never know. Maybe one of the girls will get naked. And I was convicted and I was sentenced. You're just a kid. I'm gonna take you to the final two. And I'm gonna kill you.
Tiger! Ladies and gentlemen, it's come to my attention that one of our witnesses would like to share something with us. <laughs> he killed someone close to you, didn't he? My husband! <laughs> and now you feel like you finally have some closure. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's okay. That is a natural feeling. And we all understand. We're very close to finding out who will win this year's games. Don't go away. <laughs> Holy shit! Who is this? Whoa, the best actress award goes to... What was your name, sweetie? Allison. Allison. Give it up for Allison. She almost had me crying. <laughs> Can you believe that? We need more of her. Seriously, find out whoever her acting class was. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm a little emotional.
not looking so good. You're the one that's gonna kill me. Oh, honey, you're already dead. We're getting immense pressure from the press to comment on Tucker's innocence. Oh, okay, well, here's my comment to the press. He was sentenced to death. Okay, we have run the numbers, and it could be a ratings disaster if he dies in the game. Are you out of your mind? What do you want? You know what? Come to me live as soon as the Tigers finish. Only two remain. Joy, the heartless teenage killer, ruthless and crazy. Who knows why? Who cares? And Tucker, a family man who callously murdered his wife in cold blood. Presumed innocent by some of you. Listen to me. I am not the judge. We are not the jury. But the game, the game is the executioner. And the game decides who lives and who dies. Oh, we've got a problem. We just received an encrypted message. From the cavemen? From here, inside the premises. Open the final doorway. The last challenge begins now. Master Control? Sit down. We've intercepted an encoded transmission coming from the premises. Really? What did it say? We don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. We traced the transmission back to your edit bay, Laura. Have you been sending encoded messages? I'm going to kill the host on live TV tonight. No matter what you do, the show will continue. It's bigger than me, than you, than anyone. You'll never... Patience, Tucker. Joy, you are the favorite to win this thing, you know. Eat shit! That's the spirit. Tucker, I'm not sure anyone expected you to get this far, but there are millions of people rooting for you out there. In fact, we have a very special message from your kids. Survive, Dad, please. We know you're innocent. Get him out of the games. Stop the games! Bring him back. Bring him back! Bring him back! Bring him back! Why so upset? We are giving you a chance to see them again. I mean, really, if it wasn't for our little show here, you'd already be dead. And let the final challenge begin! Well, 
this is an easy game. Now you will notice that you are each chained to those locks. There are padlocks at the end of your chains that need to be unlocked for you to cross the outer finish line. Be the first to do so, and your opponent will be eliminated. You win! The keys. Excuse me? I don't think I quite caught that. Where are the keys to unlock the padlocks? There are two. One for each of you. Buried in the sand, somewhere between where you stand and the locks. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go! Tucker, do you know why I threw in my name for the games? I don't care about my freedom. Hell, being in here is as close as I could ever hope to being free. A girl that does things that I do won't last very long in the real world anyway, you know? I wanted to meet you! Convicted killer that the whole world loves. The man that wanted to join the game so he could see his precious kids again. The man that everyone cried over when his sentence was given. I mean, what the hell? You talk too much. She cried for you. She missed you. She said that you were gonna come save her, and I really wish you would have. Because I was so tired of waiting. I'm here to finish what I started! I can't let the whole world see you go free! I'm gonna cause one more moment of chaos and heartbreak before I leave this disgusting world! I killed your bitch of a wife, and I would do it again, and again, and again, if I could! Yes, yes, this is perfect, this is perfect, this is awesome! You knew? Well, I mean, you know, we hoped. See you in hell, you piece of shit! What did you say to me? I said I killed your wife. What did you say to me? Uh, give me a Rex. Bring on a Rex. I said I got her! Ah! I'm gonna kill you! Where? Savannah! We need a Rex! We just, where is she? Do I have to do everything myself? Just bring it out. Savannah! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? They attack you. programmed them to behave the same way that they would in nature, and they're very territorial. We've never had this many at once, so I don't know what they're gonna do. Well, then fix it!
them out now. What? Whoa, whoa, Laura, what are, what are you doing? Wake him up, slowly. Brian, go to commercial, right now. No, Brian, bring it here, now. Laura, look at me, look at me. This, I mean, this has to be some kind of a misunderstanding. The game is over, for good. Okay, where's Savannah? Savannah! This has gone on long enough. Tonight, this is over. There will be no more Jurassic games. Okay, Laura, what are you, stop. What are you doing, this is crazy. Jeff, are you serious? I've known you 10 years, are you kidding me? What is happening right now, are you crazy? We're going in. What, no, stop. Stop it right now, stop. If I don't call off that T-Rex, it will kill him. You're not gonna shoot me. Bring it to me live, now. It's over, everyone. It's over. Now watch this evil piece of shit learn his lesson. Back to the desert, do it! Okay. All right. Come on, baby, make it good. Let's fucking go! on the all-new Jurassic Games. Back and better than ever for next season. This is so exciting. All new contestants, a new host, and we've got something very special to show you. An exclusive clip of a few of the stars of the show sporting some amazing new upgrades. Oof, I can't wait. Hold the clip. <laughs>